The first type of problem from those six categories explains the situation that money at the present time is given and it asks you to calculate the future value according to given interest rate per period of i and number of periods away from present time n. As explained earlier in lesson 1, future value of money after n period with interest rate of i can be calculated as f equals p times 1 plus i power n, which can also be written regarding the factor notation that explained in previous videos as f equals p times the factor. The mathematical expression 1 plus i power n is called the single payment compound amount factor and is designated as the factor p slash p subscript i n so this factor is called single payment compound amount factor because a future single sum of money f needs to be calculated given a present single sum of money p at given interest rate of i after given number of compounding periods n Note that n here is the number of period, time interval, between present time and future, the time difference between present time and future. For example, if problem asks you to calculate the future value of $20,000 after 10 years with interest rate of 4%, first you draw the timeline. Left hand side is the present time. So you write $20,000. Right hand side is a future time, which is unknown, and future value needs to be calculated after 10 years. So we can summarize this problem as $20,000 times the single payment compound amount factor, and the factor should be written as F slash P with, with the subscript 4% for the interest rate and 10 for the time difference between present time and future and single payment compound amount factor is 1 plus 4 percent power 10 and, and then we calculate the future value f